Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the Lico question sequential digits. All right, so in this question, an integer has sequential digits if and only if each digit in the number is one more than the previous digit. So for example, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you look at those numbers over there, each digit, the next digit is one more than the previous digit. Okay, so return a sorted list of all the integers in the range low comma high so low being the lower bound high being the higher bound uh, inclusive that have a sequential uh, digits and it's inclusive okay so for example we have this uh, boundary over here of 100 comma uh, 300 so uh, the numbers which fall into this are 1 2 3 and 2 3 and 4 and what is the next possibility so the next possibility would be uh, 3 4 and 5 but in that case the problem is that we're crossing the higher bound so that's why we're not, we're only going to have these two values as our output and that should be it. So similarly, we have one more example over here. So this question is pretty simple. So let's just directly go into the code part of this. So let's start off by creating our list, which is what we're going to store all of the possibilities in. And this is what we're going to end up outputting. So it's going to be an empty uh, list called results. All right. So over here, what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through the numbers one through nine. Okay, so for num in range 1 comma 9. Okay, so what does 1 comma 9 mean? So that means that we start at 1, including 1, and we go all the way up to 8, not including 9. And the reason for that is pretty simple because once you reach 9, the next possibility would be 10, which is not possible. So in other words, we can only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can't have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. That's not possible. Okay, so the, we're only going to go all the way up to 8. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, so we have our number here. And each time what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building up one of our possible numbers over here for the output, okay? So that's what we're doing over here. We're building up our number. So how exactly are we going to build up our number? So over here, we're going to have a while loop. So what is this while loop going to be checking for? So this while loop is going to check if our number is less than or equal to, since it's inclusive, to the higher bound value. So if that is the case, we're going to enter inside of our while loop. And over here, we're going to have one more condition, which is we're gonna check if our number is divisible by 10. So if it is divisible by 10, we are not going to go inside of our uh, while loop. So not equal to zero. So in this case, we know that that number is not divisible by 10. And the reason for this is if something is divisible by 10, we wouldn't have a next number to go to. So those are going to be the parameters for uh, being inside of our while loop. So when do we know when to add the number that we created to our results list? So over here, we're going to have an if condition to do that. So if the current number we have is greater than or equal to the lower bound value, then in that case, we're going to add our number to our results list. So rest.append and we're going to be adding our number to it. Okay. so. Uh, we're not going to actually stop over here, okay? So we're going to keep going until we actually exceed the height limit or any of these conditions are uh, not met, right? So we're going to keep going until then. And we need to keep increasing our number since the next digit is one more than the previous digit. So how exactly do we do that? So our number now, we're going to change its value. And we're going to do that by taking our number and multiplying it by 10. Okay, so now we have an extra space for it, an extra digit. And what are, what is this digit going to be? So let's say the previous value had a value of 2. So now we made it 20. And now the next number has to have a value of 3. So how do we do that? And the answer to that is pretty simple. We're going to take the number and we're going to do mod 10. So this is going to give us the value at the units place of our current number. And to this, we're going to add 1 because the next number has uh, one more than the previous number. So we're adding one to it. So let's say we had a two originally, we're going to end out with 23. So this is going to be our new number. And if the conditions over here are met, we're gonna go into our while loop again. And let's say if the if loop condition is met, we're going to add that number as well to our numbers. So let's say we've uh, formed all the possible combinations with the number one. Then after that, our first number is gonna be two. So now we're going to form all the possible combinations with so 2, then 3, then 4, and so on and so forth until we reach the number 8. And at that point, we should have been made all of our combinations. Okay, 
So that should be it. So at the very ending of this over here, we're just going to return our re uh, results. So return res. So let's submit this. Okay, so I made a really small mistake over here. So as you can see, we do have the same numbers, but the order of it is different. And if you go back over here, we need to return a sorted list. And in Python, that's really simple. We can just call the well sorted function. So this is going to sort our uh, all the nut variables inside of our list. And we're going to return the sorted list. And this should get accepted over here. And as you can see, our submission was accepted. And finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you.